Mazuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mazuma Nation. Shout out to the Mazuma Ma. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. On my way to go get it as always. Actually, I'm on break right now, so I'm not on my way to go get it. I'm here right now. You know what I mean? Just enjoying my break or whatever. Back at y'all with some more boxing talk, though. So, um, I wanted to speak on a video that I believe has surfaced uh, quite recently. I don't know if it was today, yesterday, or whatever, but it was a it was a video clip that was between Floyd Mayweather and Ryan Garcia, man. Um, I guess they were walking through like some type of uh, building or something like that. I don't know exactly what they had going on, but um, Ryan Garcia and Floyd Mayweather have been re uh, linking up lately, especially after that loss to Javante Davis. Ryan Garcia has been around Floyd, which I think is pretty ironic because you know Ryan Garcia prior to the Javante Davis loss threw a lot of shade in Floyd's direction, you know what I mean? Like, I remember there was one point in time where uh, Ryan Garcia was saying, like, oh, whose career would you rather have, uh, Pacquiao's or Floyd Mayweather's? And he was just, like, all on the Pacquiao bandwagon. Um, but now that he actually took a loss to somebody who was a part of Floyd Mayweather's stable, um, all of a sudden he's all around Floyd Mayweather just trying to soak up some game or whatever. You know, things change, you know what I mean? Ryan Garcia... You know what I mean, he's been flaky with Canelo, and all of a sudden, him and Canelo cool now. Is he just he's just a back and forth type of dude? That's just what he is. But that's not what I really want to speak about. What I want to speak about is exactly what Floyd Mayweather said in an interview. And I'm not gonna lie, man, it was definitely some shade towards Devin Haney. You know what I mean? We gonna get into exactly why he's throwing shade at Devin Haney. You know what I mean? Um, so I believe the the guy who was holding the camera asked him who's the biggest stars in boxing as of right now, and Floyd Mayweather said it's three. He said Canelo, Javante Davis, and Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? He says that he believes that those three guys are the uh, big stars in boxing as of right now. Um, and when I first heard it, I was like, damn, um, he didn't mention Devin Haney. I noticed that, but I'm like, maybe he just forgot his name. But as he continues speaking, he says something along the lines of, oh, these dudes think uh, uh, um, th that if they have all these belts. He says something along the lines of like, they they have all these belts, but they not making they not making that much money or something of that nature. Just referring to somebody having a lot of belts and them um, not necessarily being stars and that not really meaning anything. And this is something that Floyd Mayweather has said on several occasions: how belts collect dust, uh, belts don't really mean anything. And this is something that he has whispered continuously in Javante Davis's ear, which is why he has that philosophy himself. You know what I mean? Um, so right from then, I knew that he was throwing shots at Devin Haney. And it made me scratch my head a little bit. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, why Why is he throwing shots at Devin Haney? Like, I've heard him say on several, I heard him say on several occasions that um, he watched Devin Haney grow up and that he was happy that um, he was being, uh, vi that he was victorious against Vasil Lomachenko. And then um, was saying things like, um, like, like, pretty much watched him grow up. And at one particular time, he was trying to sign Devin Haney. Um, he was trying to sign Devin Haney, and then I also seen in that within that same clip that I'm referring to that um, Devin Haney could have been the one that was in Tank's position and fought Ryan Garcia, and then said, "Oh, you could have two belts and make 250 million, or you could have all the belts and make 10 million. You know, so he pretty much was saying like, "All right, like you getting all the belts, but you're not making that much money. You could have a little bit of the belts and make a whole lot of money." And he pretty much said that, like, Tate could have been, I mean, uh, Javante, Devin could have been in Javante Davis's shoes right now, but he missed out on the opportunity pretty much. So I don't understand how you go from, you know what I mean, showing love to Devin Haney to just, to just throwing shots at him when Ryan Garcia is in his face. In all honesty, man, that seems pretty corny to me. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, a lot of uh, a shade being thrown Devin Haney's way. Uh, when I've never even really heard Devin Haney say anything crazy about Floyd Mayweather or disrespect him in any type of way. If anything, he seems like um, he's appreciative of being around Floyd and stuff like that. Bill Haney, on the other hand, I've seen him throw shots at Floyd. But um, Devin Haney seems to keep it very respectful when it comes to Floyd Mayweather. So I'm not understanding where why uh, Floyd Mayweather is taking this approach. You know what I mean? That's a kid that, you know what I mean, looked up to you growing up. Um, but I think I think I actually know what it is in all honesty, man. I think that Floyd Mayweather is pretty much upset that Devin Haney never went around and signed with him. You know what I mean? I think that's something that, that really bothered him. In all honesty, man, um, you know, Floyd Mayweather, one of them type dudes that he just want people to be under his wing 
And I, we just gonna keep it a buck, man. If we really know Floyd or how the way he moves, like he want to see people do well, but he doesn't want to see anybody do better than him. And you want to know how I know that? Because he says, yo, hopefully there's, he'll say at one, at, at, on one interview, he'll be like, hopefully there's somebody that could break my records one day. Oh, and then there's another one. Look, see the Undertaker shit going on. You see the Undertaker trying to, inter, trying to intervene with what I got going on from spitting these facts. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> now, nah, uh, Floyd Mayweather was saying a whole different interview. Oh, nobody's ever going to break my records. I'm the greatest fighter there's uh, there's ever been. I'm going to be the greatest fighter there ever will be. Blah, blah, blah. So Floyd is a flip floppy type dude, man. He's it, it pretty much, you won't know, it's pretty much like a coin toss with him. You know, Whatever he land on, that's what, he, that's what bag he going to be in and that's just what it is. So I really don't understand why Floyd Mayweather even throwing shade at Devin Haney like that. That's kind of corny in all honesty. Um, and just another thing. It's like, why are you saying that Ryan Garcia is this pay-per-view star? What numbers the has this man generated prior to the Javante Davis fight? Now, Javante Davis, he has a, he has a history of being on pay-per-views and doing pretty well on pay-per-view. All right, cool. I don't recall, and selling out venues. Like, this is not about Javante Davis at all. But let's look at Ryan Garcia. Like, what pay-per-view history did Ryan Garcia have prior to Javante Davis? Did he sell crazy pay-per-views? Okay, he has a lot of followers on social media, but how is it translating into him selling arenas? I don't remember him selling out arenas. This is just me. I mean, if y'all if y'all able to provide some type of um, article for me to show exactly what his numbers is, why are we calling Ryan Garcia a pay-per-view star if, from what I recollect, he's only been on one pay-per-view, and it happens to be with a guy who historically has had great pay-per-view numbers? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really not understanding why people put too much stock into Ryan Garcia. I don't know if it's because they, they, they this guy has like a good look, and they just... He, he he looks like he's it and you know what i mean a, a lot uh i guess these guys uh, whenever they bringing up ryan garcia they be talking about how attractive he looks and, and little weird stuff like that but unfortunately looks don't equate to being a pay-per-view draw at the end of the day you know what i mean so that's my whole take on the situation man i don't know what's up with floyd i don't know why he necessarily had to throw shots at Devin haney i feel like that wasn't really necessary um you don't need to put somebody down in order to lift somebody uh to lift up another pre another person you know what i'm saying you don't have to downplay Devin haney to big up gervonta you don't need to downplay Devin haney to uh to pick up ryan garcia or canelo alvarez you know what i mean this is somebody who's thrown shots at canelo alvarez himself but now he's bigging him up and calling him a pay-per-view star and one of the stars of boxing you know what I mean? Uh, and then referring to him as a, a, a saying steroids, steroids, steroids. So um, for Floyd, he's a he's a wish washy dude. Sometime in his dude, and um, at one particular time, man, growing up, I was a huge Floyd Mayweather fan. So it's not like I hate this dude or anything like that. But I'm just calling out the obvious. He he definitely has some type of uh, problem with Devin Haney. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if it's because he didn't sign with him. I don't know exactly what the situation is, but. Um, I don't know, man. I think that he see Devin Haney take his own route and he's successful at what he's doing and he's making some noise. And I guess because he wasn't, he didn't take Floyd's advice and um, didn't necessarily just go into Floyd's shadow, you know what I mean? He felt some type of way about it, you know what I mean? But that's just my take on the whole situation, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is Floyd right or wrong for throwing shade towards Devin Haney? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This is Mizuma TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.